I hope you enjoyed this. Stay creative, stay inspired, and have a great day. You may have found this weird, but I'll explain later. But for now, picture this. You've just finished taking an exam. You hand in your paper, and while you're on the way home, you finally remember the answer to the last question you left unanswered. In this exact moment, everyone would wonder if there is a way to go back in time and fix it. But have you ever wondered why does time flow forward in the first place? One possible answer could be that the second law of thermodynamics is responsible for the time error. Popularized by the physician Ludwig Boltzmann, it basically states that the entropy of the universe is increasing. But what's entropy, you may ask? Entropy is a measure of a system's thermal energy per unit temperature that is unavailable for doing useful work. Put simply, it is an expression of disorder or randomness of a system. They have found this a bit complicated, so let's take a coffee break and you'll see it more clearly. Initially, we have a milk cup and a coffee cup. They are both ordered uniform, so in a low entropy state. But watch what happens when we mix them together. milk and coffee molecules are now mixed and there is no way to unmix them. The cup now is a complex disordered system. Examples of entropy are all around us, from burning wood to ice cube. No, not this one, the other one. The Rubik's cube is the perfect example to illustrate this. Here we have a random combination. Now, if I put it behind my back and execute exactly 20 moves, this is what we have. We get this. Well, of course it's not so because there is so much more ways for it to be in a disordered state than an ordered one. 40 quintillion random combination, only one where it's solved. But what makes this question even more interesting is that the laws of physics do not distinguish between backward and forward time movements. So does this mean that there is a possibility of time travel? There's this guy, I don't know if you know him, he's called Albert Einstein or whatever, and he has this theory of general relativity that gives the possibility of a so-called wormhole that creates shortcuts between space-time and eventually allowing time travel. But I think I have a better way. I may have found this weird. Does this mean that there is a possibility of time travel that creates shortcuts between space time? And eventually, I hope you enjoyed this. Stay creative, stay inspired, and have a great day.